We can't get out. Matt, what's the matter with you? You're behaving as if you've been brainwashed already. We tried to escape this morning, and what happened? We found ourselves back here. Di was right. We're trapped. Oh, hello, darling. Finished your prep? Yes, Mum. Those equations, suddenly they're so easy. Miss Clegg's moved you to the high table. Yes, we're all there now. All except Matthew. Oh, I don't suppose you'll have long to wait. Happy day, Mrs. Smythe. Miss Sandra. Happy day, Mrs. Crabtree. I have a message for you. Professor Brake and his son. I'm just on my way. Don't be late now. Poor things. They must have felt so left out. All right. Now, what have we got to go on? We know that the circle here is in alignment with Hendrick's supernova. Which is now a black hole. Right. What do we know about black holes, then? Well, not much. They're collapsed stars whose huge gravitational forces allow nothing to... not even light waves to escape. And we know that anything that comes within their boundaries is sucked into the centre and crushed out of existence. Suppose Hendrick's managed to... to harness that imploding energy. Suppose he's using it somehow to turn the villagers into happy dayers. But why? Well, if he's some sort of priest, perhaps he thinks he's doing it for their own good. Oh, there have been enough men who said that this century. I'm not talking about this century. I'm talking about something that happened thousands of years ago. Something that keeps repeating itself. In the beginning was the star. And the star was some sort of god. Oh, yeah. Hendrick's supernova. Ursa XB1. The Great Bear. Bear? Bear worship? Hendrick said it was one of the oldest forms of religion. Perhaps it had some sort of benign power. But then, when the supernova became a black hole, the power was reversed. And the priests use it to extract, well, something. Man's ability to think for himself, the quality that makes him human. So that's what goes on in the Hendrick's peculiar dining room. And whenever XB1 is in alignment with the sun. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Being in the constellation of the Great Bear, that'd be fairly frequent. Daily, probably. You'd still need split-second time to predict the moment of alignment. Well, that would explain the computer you found in the crypt of the church. And all the digital clocks throughout the house. No, you need something far more accurate than that. Well, perhaps there's a master clock somewhere. Sending out signals to the rest? Well, it's possible. Quartz? No, it's not accurate enough. Atomic. Molecules... F no, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Aged brain grinds exceeding slow. Hendrik caught you in the crypt, right? You said you saw equipment machinery. The vent was making you choke, making your eyes water, right? That's right. Smelt trouble. Ammonia. You smelt ammonia in the crypt. Yes. Mm. The atomic clock is sometimes controlled by the ammonia molecule. That's where he keeps it. Dad, if we could alter... No, it's impossible. Are you sure? Atomic clocks can't be altered. Nothing can change the ammonia molecule. And that's why they keep such super accurate time. All these digital clocks must be driven by a master signal. Mm -hmm. Can't we interrupt it? I mean, feed in extra pulses. So they'll gain time. So will we. We'll get Hendrik to process us before the black hole's in position up there. So we stay as we are. That is our way out. <sighs> this must be the junction box. Feeds down through the central heating system. Yes, I shall want the oscilloscope and the oscillator. Wonder what's happened to our luggage. It's in the car. Unless. Unless what? Well, Hendrick's expecting us to stay. Perhaps he's had it brought into the house. Come on.
Ah, Link. Everything ready? Indeed, sir. Keep them well up to time, won't you? Nothing must go wrong. <coughs> Come on! Volts at 55.2. It's a square wave. A square wave, so it can't be a main signal. Right. The atomic master clock must be driving the digitals. Mm. Now, Hendrix said dinner was in 55 minutes. Can you remember from when? 1949. It's now 2015. Mm. Gives us about half an hour. Mm. Less. You got a pencil? Yes. One of yours, I'm afraid. Now, I want five minutes extra. Work out what frequency we need. Dad, yeah. talking of Ursa Major, early man worshipped the great bear, right? Right. Did you know the Gaelic word for bear is math? Get it? Maths. I looked it up. Had to be finished. We need a 64.1 hertz signal. This gives us just under five minutes in the next half hour. Mm. I hope that's enough. So Pendrick's not clock watching. Gravity's so great, not even light particles can escape. But whatever it is, this energy doesn't start there. It comes from here. So the dish here, the circle, is a transmitter. Well, transmitting what? Evil. Or Hendrick's concept of evil. The capacity to do wrong. <laughs> the priest's sacrifice to his god. Now, hold on a minute. Where's the power source? Where does he get the power for the transmission? Do you remember the night I discovered that the ley lines all led up to this house? Ley lines? They bring the power. Psychic power to the circle. A pagan storehouse of energy. Dinner is served. Extraordinary room. Most people do. In what way, extraordinary? What about my throw? An unusual piece, don't you think? Splendid. But it's exactly the sort of thing I would have expected a man of your conceit to have chosen. Do you think I'm conceited? I think you have an exaggerated sense of your own importance. 
Oh, I'm sorry, but you really are so predictable. Even Matty, I can tell you exactly what your next move will be. Really? You'll sit on your throne between Dad and me and tell me that the table acts as a transmitter, focusing psychic energies gathered by the stone dish of the circle. Well, let's see if you're right, shall we? Bon appétit. My children. Another village ceremony. Don't you think you're overdoing them a bit? There are many just now, during the summer solstice. The time of ancient magic. The rituals are important. Traditions are very strong in this part of the country. Do you still practice human sacrifice? Crude and unnecessary. The methods of earlier times are much more civilized. Methods of what? Purging the community of sin. The task of a priest. Accepting the burden. Taking it on one's own shoulders. Anger of fire. Fire of speech. Breath of knowledge. Render us free from harm. Return to us the innocence that once we knew. Complete the circle. Make us at one with nature and the elements. It is time. Arise, my children. I commune and identify with the forces of nature. Your sin is my sin. Your guilt is my guilt. You are free. I have fulfilled my function. You are happy? So happy. Happy. Happy day indeed. My flock is cleansed. My task is done. Take them outside. When you join the circle, your initiation will be complete. You will be happy ones. Master, they are still impure. The circle is broken. Your protection is gone.
What are you up to, boy? Die! You're alive! Alive? Of course I'm alive. Thought I was dead, did you? Thought I had no more use for this place. We came because it's safe, remember? Safe? What is this? Some kind of riddle? In a way. No time for riddles, got my work to do. All these knives got to get sharpened, see? Whose is that? That? Belonged to my father, that did. And his father before him. But where are the rabbits? The pheasants? I... You are right, boy. Die. I die. I'll be off with you. And take him with you. Dad. It's died. Get back to your cottage and leave me to my work. You know our style. You know our cottage. No friend of mine, Professor Brick. No knives for day to sharpen, ever. You know us? Yes, yeah, I know you. Die! Come on, Matt. different. Professor, Master Matthew, where have you been? We've been so worried. Oh, Mrs. Smythe, you can cancel that call. They're back, safe and sound. Adam, <laughs> the car was still there this morning, outside the cottage, luggage and all. We've been worried to death. What happened? It's a long story. I'm not quite sure. Are you still determined to leave us? If we can. I'm glad we have such a hold on you. It's been nice. For me too. Goodbye, Matt. Yes, bye. Oh, Sandra would be furious she's missed you. According to her, you're the best in the class. The others must be very backward. Mrs. Crabtree, go back. Did it happen? Or didn't it? I don't know, Matt. I just don't know. Perhaps there was another circle beside the stones. What? Time. Perhaps that's circular too. You mean it, it might all happen again one day? It may already be happening to the people inside the time trap. <sighs> you want to go back and find out? What I want is a sandwich. <laughs> oh, don't tell me. Peanut butter. <laughs> Strawberry mousse, gherkin, cold and syrup.
Ah, uh, Mr. Link, Sir Joshua Lytton. Morning, sir. Pleasant drive? Delightful. Can't tell you what a relief it is to get out of London. You couldn't find a nice part of the world to retire to than this. Ideal. I believe I shall be very happy here. Uh, come in, sir, won't you? Uh, we've done a little bit of destruction. 